So once you've done your direct isolation and you have your filtrate, you are going to want to do a spot test. Spot tests come in handy pretty much um, throughout this whole uh, semester. A spot test really just will tell you if you have a phage. Um, what you would see is just a, literally a spot on your lawn of your plate and it would just really just let you know that you could go ahead and take that filtrate or that sample further to create a whole uh, series of black assays so that way you can look at them and perhaps create a web plate that would be done in the future. So anyways, what we're gonna do is take our filtrate and we're just gonna take a micropipetter that would be um, already clean. And remember, since we're in the lab, your table has been cleaned, you're wearing gloves, your hair is pulled back, you have your lab coat on, closed toe shoes, and you are keeping your mouth closed in the zone of silence, and your plate is labeled. So for a spot plate, you would want to label, for example, since I am spotting um, some dil my dilutions from earlier, you would, I have my dilutions labeled out. I have a little line to show me where that spot would be once I go to check this plate tomorrow. And I have minus one, two, three, four, five, six. I have soil written because I'm going to be doing a soil spot. And my name, the date, and um, my name, the date, and really that's it. Spot plate. You know what it is. You've labeled it. So as I said, we took our micro pipetter. We took three microliters and placed a spot right where I labeled soil. And I'm just going to quickly finish my spot plate. So again, I have my container for garbage. I'm going to take 10 to the minus 1, 3 microliters, barely lift up the lid, place it, change my tip. Notice that most of these protocols is all about repetition. So, what you may be nervous about when you begin, by the time you've done two serial dilutions, you might feel really great about doing serial dilutions or plate assays or spot plates or even learning to not talk while you're doing your work. Personally, for me, that's been the hardest. When someone's talking to you to know you can't talk or else you'll mess up what you're doing or risk contaminating your work and having to begin completely from the beginning. And you will also need a negative control with the phage buffer. And what the phage buffer will do is, you know nothing should grow with the phage buffer. So, it can also help you know if you have a contamination or just to really let you know, hey, nothing grew on my plate or something did grow if you see a little change in the media since you're plating it on a mycobacterium lawn. So with the spot plate, we have taken our filtrate, put, put a three microliter spot right onto the mycobacterium lawn. So how you'll know if you have phage is if you see a spot literally where you've placed that dot. And how you'll know where you've placed that dot is by properly labeling that plate and having a little line delineating where you've placed that spot. And then we just set it aside and we let it grow overnight. 